case I have an accent that you don't understand, he's going to talk about an owl. Does everybody know what I mean? Good. O-W-L. That bird, an owl. Woo -hoo. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Action. I heard. <laughs> Who stuffed that white owl? No one spoke in the shop. The barber was busy, and he couldn't stop. The customers waiting their turns were reading the Daily, the Herald, the Post, little heeding the young man who blurted out such a blunt question. Not one raised a head, or even made a suggestion. And the barber kept on shaving. Don't you see, Mr. Brown, cried the youth with a frown, how wrong the whole thing is, how preposterous each wing is, how flattened the head, how jammed down that neck is. In short, that whole owl, what an ignorant wreck it is. Oh, I make no apology. I've learned alleology. I've passed days and nights in a hundred collections and cannot be blinded to any deflections arising from unskillful fingers that fail to stuff a bird right from his beak to his tail. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, do take that bird down or you'll be the laughing stock all over the town. And the barber kept on shaving. I have studied owls and other night fowls, and I tell you what I know to be true. An owl cannot roost with his limbs so unloosed. No owl in this world ever had his claws curled, ever had his beak canted, ever had his legs slanted, ever had his neck screwed into that absurd. He can't do it. Because <laughs> against all bird laws, anatomy teaches, ornithology preaches, an owl has a toe that can't turn out so. I have made the white owl my study for years. And to see such a job almost moves me to tears. Mr. Brown, do take that bird down or you'll be the laughing stock all over the town. And the barber kept on shaving. Mr. Brown, I am amazed. You should be so crazed to, to put up a bird in that posture absurd. To look at that owl really brings on a dizziness. Whew, man who stuffed him, uh, don't half know his business. Okay, examine those eyes. I'm filled with surprise taxidermists should pass off on you such poor glass. So unnatural they seem, they'd make Audubon scream and John Burroughs laugh to encounter such chaff. <laughs> Do take that bird down, have him stuffed again, Brown. And the barber kept on shaving. Okay, with some sawdust and bark, I could stuff in the dark an owl better than that. I could make an old bat look more like an owl than that hard fowl. <laughs> Stuck up there like a side of coarse leather. In fact, about him, there's not one natural feather. Well, just then, with a wink and a sly normal lurch, whoo, whoo, that owl very gravely got down from his perch. Whoo, whoo, walked round and regarded his fault-finding critic who thought he was stuffed at a glance, analytic. And then fairly hooted as if he should say, your learning is at fault this time anyway. Don't waste it again on a live bird, I pray. For you see, sir, you're an owl. I'm another Sir Critic. Good day. Oh, and the barber just kept on shaving.
Okay. The reason I made a full